Kindle 4 Take Apart Guide. On the back of the Kindle, you can locate the serial number and the model number. The Kindle Touch has the model number of D01100. First to remove the back case. There are two clips on each side of the Kindle, as well as two clips at the bottom and two clips at the top. First, start by getting a flat tool and prying up on the sides to remove the two clips on the side. In doing this, you will notice quite a bit of resistance because the back case is actually glued in the middle. Now, pry up on the other side of the Kindle removing the two clips. You may have to insert the flat tool pretty far to separate the glue from the back case. Once the back case is separated from the glue, you can then lift up on the sides, folding the back case slightly to unhook the top and the bottom. Now remove the two T5 screws from the battery shield. Next you have to unplug the battery cable from the motherboard. Flip up the lock mechanism and then slide the cable out. Next you will have to pry up on the battery to remove it with a flat tool. In doing this, it is likely you can damage the battery because of it being glued to the casing. Next you will need to take a flat tool to lift up on the lock mechanism holding the display cable in and then slide the cable out. Below the display cable connection on the motherboard you will notice a small cable. Use your flat tool to lift up the lock and then slide out the cable. You will need to do the same thing for the flex cable on the other side of the board. Next, remove the three T5 screws from the motherboard. Next, flip the device over to see the front. Use a flat tool to pry up on the display bezel. Carefully lift up on the bezel to separate it from the frame as it is held in with an adhesive. Once the bezel is removed, you can then remove the two T5 screws at the bottom. After the screws are removed, 
then lift up on the button bracket to remove it. Now you will see two more T5 screws to remove. Once those screws are removed, flip the device over to the back and then lift up on the motherboard to remove it. Do this carefully as the motherboard is also glued in place.